Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I'm going to share with you how to crochet this so beautiful and really easy baby hat. This hat is so soft and so comfortable for babies. I'm going to give you this all detail about this hat. It's really easy to make. You can make this hat within 10 to 20 minutes, depend on the size. It's so easy to make, even beginners can make too. I really love this gorgeous hat. I hope you will love too. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you missed my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. These all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, let's get started. Before we start, let's see what size we're gonna make. I'm gonna give you four different sizes. This white one for the tiny baby, and this blue and pink one for the zero to three month, and this one for three to six month, and I'm gonna give you six to twelve month as well. This white one I made for the tiny baby, mean early born baby. This hat is so soft for the babies, and this at both sides look same. This the four different size I'm gonna give you in this video. Early born to 12 month. It's so easy to make. I'm gonna make zero to three month, and I'm gonna give you this all detail about this four different size. I'm gonna use pink color yarn and a white color yarn. This the two color I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna make this pink color hat. I'm using this two color. You can use any color or even more than two colors. This yarn recommend hook is four. This yarn ball have 100 gram, 300 meters. This both is double knitting yarn. This all hat I made with the double knitting yarn. I'm using four millimeter crochet hook to make this hat. This all different size I made with the 4mm crochet hook. I'm gonna start with the white color yarn to begin slip knot. I'm gonna make 0 to 3 month, then I need 60 chain. This chain is going multiple of 4. I need 60 chain. Now I have a 60 chain. This 60 chain for the 0 to 3 month. This hat is 0 to 3 month. Then we need 60 chain. If you're gonna make tiny baby or early born baby, this one need 56 chain. And 3 to 6 month. This one 3 to 6 month. This one needs 64 chain. And 6 to 12 month, you need 68 chain. This is the four different size. And plus 2 chain. 1, 2. Turn your work to this back side. Skip 3 chain. Into the fourth chain, 1 double crochet. Again into the next chain, one double crochet. Again into the next chain, one double crochet. This first row we need into this E chain, one double crochet. Make the one double crochet for each chain. I'm going to show you end of this row. Now I'm nearly finished this first row. I make into this each chain one double crochet. Into this last chain. One double crochet. 
Now we have finished this first row. Let's see how many double crochet I got. This is the first three chain. I'm gonna count this the first double crochet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Altogether, I have a 60 double crochet. Now, I'm going to join this first double crochet and last double crochet. This is the first double crochet and this is the last double crochet. Go through this last double crochet and the first double crochet and tie it together. Like this. If you want, you can use the yarn needle to join this. Now I'm going to finish this first round. Join with the third chain using by slip stitch. Second row, start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into the next double crochet. Front force double crochet. Around this double crochet. One double crochet. Again into the next double crochet. Front force double crochet. Next two double crochet is going back force double crochet. Again into the next double crochet. Back force double crochet. Again into the next two double crochet. This two is going front force double crochet. You can see here I have a two by two. Here I have a front force two double crochet, back force two double crochet. This round is going. Two front force double crochet, two back force double crochet. Again, next two is coming front force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this. Second round. Now I'm nearly finished this second round. Two back first, two front first. It look like this. I'm gonna finish second round with the back force double crochet. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. You can see here I have a two front force and two back force. Round three start with the go through this. Front force double crochet and slip stitch. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet. Into the next two back force double crochet. Now 
this round is going into the front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet next two is going back force double crochet next two is come in front force follow this pattern all around to this third row you can see i made the first three row with the two front force two back force follow this pattern all around to this third round i'm going to show you end of this third round now i'm nearly finished this third round with the two back force and two front force double crochet i'm going to finish with two back force double crochet join with this third chain this is the third chain you seen by slip stitch I'm going to use the two color if you want to use the one color you can continue this pattern with the same color yarn I'm going to make two color hat that's why I cut this yarn after three row I'm going to make same like this hat if you gonna make one color it's coming like this you can continue this pattern with the same color yarn even you can use two color like this or you can use the more colors now i finished three round for this hat this is the ribbon for this hat this you can see this both side is look same now i'm gonna use second color this second color is i'm using pink color yarn here have a 60 stitches same number of stitches with the chain I'm gonna use this double crochet to join this pink color yarn start with the chain 3 1 2 3 into the next double crochet one double crochet I'm gonna make into this each double crochet up to one double crochet with the pink color yarn you can see I'm making this double crochet top of this double crochet Make into the each double crochet to one double crochet. Follow this pattern with this double crochet. I'm going to show you end of this round. Now I'm nearly finished this round with the double crochet. It's the da last double crochet for this round. When you finish the first round with this pattern you need same number of double crochet with you when you, you start with the chain I start with the 60 chain then I need 60 double crochet let's see how many double crochet I have 1 2 3 4 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 55 56 57 58 59 60 I have a 60 double crochet I start with the 60 chain then I have a 60 double crochet with the 0 to 3 month 
this early born is a tiny baby one you need 56 double crochet three to six months you need 64 double crochet six to twelve months you need 68 double crochet again 56 60 64 68 this is the four different size this first three round is the this hat this pattern is start with the pink color yarn then I have a one round for this pattern I'm gonna make this pattern for this hat now I finish one round with the pink color yarn I'm gonna start second round into the next double crochet this is the next double crochet around this double crochet slip stitch and chain three one two three into the next double crochet I'm gonna make back force double crochet again into the next double crochet front force double crochet again into the next double crochet back force double crochet front force double crochet back force double crochet we start with this pattern one front force double crochet one back force double crochet this is the pattern for this hat first three row we make with the two by two this one we're going to make one by one first one we start with the front force double crochet and next one in the back force double crochet follow this pattern all around to this round now I'm um, nearly finished this second round for this pattern with the back force and the front force double crochet I'm gonna finish with this second round with the back force double crochet go through this first three chain and slip stitch start with the chain three one two three this is the first double crochet front force double crochet when you finish the second row it's look like this into the next double crochet front sorry back force double crochet this first three chain is the front force and next one is the back force again front force double crochet back force double crochet this round is going into the front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet follow this pattern to all around to this third round I'm going to show you how to finish this third round. I'm going to finish with this round with the back force double crochet. Join with the third chain, sorry, go through this first three chain and slip stitch. Again, next row is start with the chain three. This is the pattern for this hat. Follow this pattern for this your hat size. This is a 0 to 3 month. Then you need 8 row for this same number of stitch. This one is 3 to 6 month. This one need 9 row. This first size 1 is the tiny baby one needs 7 row. I'm going to make 0 to 3 month. Then I need 8 row. You can see here. We may change the color with the 3 by 3. This is the 3 to 6 month. Now I finish 3 row. I'm going to show you how to change the color. Then I'm going to cut this yarn. And tie this pink color yarn. 
next I'm using white color yarn if you want the same color you can continue this color I'm going to show you how to change the color go through this first three chain and start with the chain three I'm going to show you one more time I'll make this chain three with the front four chain one two three into the next double crochet back force double crochet now you can continue this pattern with the second color if you want you can change the two by two rows color or even one by one I'm gonna make one color hat if someone need you can change the color like this or you can make with the one color when you make the chain the color it look like this now I'm nearly finished eight round back force double crochet and front force double crochet zero to three month you need eight rows with the same number of stitch 60 double crochet front force and fr back force double crochet now I'm going to finish this 8 row using by this first 3 chain go through this first 3 chain and slip stitch now I finish 8 rows you can see this pink color with the pink color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 rows 0 to 3 month 8 rows this one is 0 to 3 month you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you can see after 8 row I reduced the stitch this is the tiny baby one early born one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 round with the 56 double crochet this is the th 3 to 6 month 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 9 row, round with the 64 double crochet 6 to 12 month 10 row with the 68 double crochet Last 4 rows This all hat I finished with the last 4 rows Same way this one have a seven rows this one have a eight and nine six to twelve month sorry six to twelve month you need ten row now I made the zero to three month then I need eight row after eight row I'm gonna make reduce the sorry I'm gonna reduce the stage I pass this front force this two front force double crochet through this front force double crochet and pull this yarn and slip stitch start with the chain three one two three into the next back force double crochet two back force double crochet again into the next front force two double crochet go through this two double crochet I'm gonna skip this back force double crochet go through this front force two double crochet one double crochet front force double crochet into this back force double crochet back force double crochet again into this Two front force double crochet two front force double crochet into this back force double crochet back force double crochet this round is going two front force double crochet to one front force double crochet and a back force double crochet to back force double crochet from now follow this video for this round I'm going to show you end of this round how to finish this round
Now I'm nearly finished this round nine. Go through this front force double crochet to front force double crochet. And into this back force double crochet to back force double crochet. You can see here we are skip this back force double crochet for this round. Go through this first three chain and slip stitch. Round 10 start with the chain 3. This round is going front force double crochet to front force double crochet, back force double crochet to back force double crochet. Into the back force double crochet, back force double crochet. Into the front force double crochet, front force double crochet. Next back force double crochet. Front force double crochet. It's coming like this. Into this back force double crochet to back force double crochet. And front force double crochet to front force double crochet. This round we are not reduced to any stage. From now follow this video. Now I am nearly finished round 10. Into this back force double crochet to back force double crochet. Front force double crochet to front force double crochet. We are finished with the back force double crochet. Now I am finished, nearly finished this round 10. It look like this. Next row, sorry, next round, again we're going to reduce the stitch. I'm finished round 10 with the slip stitch into this chain 3. Again, I'm going to make into this front force double, two front force double crochet to one front force double crochet. I pass this hook through this two double crochet. Sorry, front force two double crochet and start with the chain. You can see this front force two front force three is coming together. Chain three into this back force double crochet, back force double crochet. Again into the next. Two front force double crochet, two front force double crochet, two, one front force double crochet. We skip this back force double crochet into this two front force double crochet, two, one front force double crochet. Again into this back force double crochet, two, one back force double crochet into this. 2 front force double crochet to 1 front force double crochet 
this round is going like this from now please follow this video Now I'm gonna finish round 11. Back force double crochet to back force double crochet. Now I have only one front force double crochet. Only 0 to 3 month is coming one front force double crochet when you finish. Then I'm gonna make one front force double crochet into this one front force double crochet. Go through this. Oh, sorry. Here I have a one back force double crochet into this back force double crochet. One back force double crochet. Join with the. Sorry. Not this one. This is the first three chain. Go through this first three chain and slip stitch. Now I finished round 11. When you finish the round 11, it looks like this. Now I'm gonna finish this hat. Into I'm gonna use only front force double crochet, chain one, go through this front force double crochet and pull it up like this, one loop. Again, go through this fun force double crochet, pull it up. I'm using only fun force double crochet to finish this hat. This round 12, each front force double crochet to I'm gonna make one loop. Make sure you have to go through this whole front force double crochet. If you are a beginner, if you feel in this is too hard for you, you can use the yarn needle to finish this hat. Now I have all front force double crochet to loop and go through this all loop. Like this. It's coming like this. Now I can cut this yarn. Go through this loop and pull this yarn to tight. Like this. You can see it's so beautiful finishing. It's so neat. Now I finished this 0 to 3 month size hat. I use pink color yarn. This yarn ball have 100 gram. I need little bit yarn for this hat. You can see here I have 100 gram. You can make this 100 gram with a 5 hat. Now I'm using yarn needle to hide this yarn. Before we hide the yarn. I'm going to use one more knot to tie this on the top. Mm -hmm. 
it's really easy to make you can make this hat within 10 to 20 minutes I take 12 minutes to finish this hat you can see this so nice and neat you can use the yarn needle to hide another yarn tail like this make sure when you hide the yarn use the same color stitch to hide the yarn then you can get nice finishing like this I'm using same color yarn with the same color stitch to hide this yarn when you finish this hat you can add the pom pom for this hat I'm using today two pom pom to add this hat you can see this hat is so comfortable for baby you can make this hat with the one color or two color or even three colors I'm using two pom pom like this to finish this hat I made this pom pom with the 5.5 centimeter size this is a size now I'm going to add this pom pom for this bend you can see this last four rows and eight rows I'm going to add this pom pom for this eight rows this is the eight rows to nine row From now please follow this video. Now I finish adding one. Next one is coming into here, the same size 9 to 8 row. When you finish this hat, you can share your finished hat with my Facebook group. I give you a link in the description down below. Now I can see my lots of subscribers using our Facebook group to share finished product. This is the, our finished hat. It's so beautiful. I hope you will love it. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.